A light breeze blows across the water, mimicking the winds of change sweeping across the country. In 2018, over 600,000 students from across the country were expected to join Form 1, a significant fraction of this expected to benefit from the launch of the Free Day Secondary School program. And yet at the coast, the situation remains underwhelming as many candidates have failed to take advantage of the opportunity to join secondary schools despite the available opportunities. This is Muhaka Secondary School in Kilifi County. And as you can see, in this class, there are only five students. They are the only ones who reported to Form 1, a situation that is replicated across the six counties in the coastal region. Lamu County recorded the highest turnout at the end of the first week, with 48.16% of Form 1 students reporting for school. Kilifi County had 41.76% of its Form 1 students in school, while Taita Taveta had a 26.6% in enrollment. Just slightly over a quarter of Form 1 students had reported to schools in Kwale County and they all reported well after the deadline had lapsed. We sent out 95 letters. We were expecting at least a turnout of 20, 25, 30 from the date that uh, they were told to report. But uh, that week of 9th up to 12th, we did not have anybody reporting. They actually started reporting on 15th. And we are not also particularly about the marks, even 190 marks, 180, 170. So I really don't know what the major issue is. The situation so serious that local leaders convened meetings in villages across the counties, urging parents to enroll their children in secondary school. The launch of the Free Day Secondary Education Program has provided opportunities to thousands of students who might otherwise not have made it to secondary school to continue with their education. However, the coastal region still lags in the uptake of Form 1 places. The reasons behind this varied, leaving students trapped in a seemingly never-ending cycle. The hoisting of the flag is a highlight of the Friday school assembly at Madago Secondary School. The school's 45 students all take part in the ceremony. Afterwards, the lone Form 1 pupil will start his classes. The curriculum condensed for an audience of one. Out of 181 students who received admission letters, just three Form 1 students reported to the school. Two haven't returned since the first day. But what could be the cause for this? 19-year-old Shaban Hamisi spends his days revising his primary school books. It keeps him busy as his widowed mother tries to raise the funds to send him to secondary school. Across the village, 16-year-old Suleiman Hamza Kadiri packs and unpacks his school bag. He scored 256 marks out of 500 in last year's Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams, enough to earn a scholarship from a local company. But his mother couldn't afford to purchase the items on the shopping list. She has only managed to buy a metal box and crockery. Kwenye mabu ya uniform, ndo ikawa dimeshirikana, sina uwezo, pesa imeisha. Nikawaomba Na isu chungu, kwa sababu ya hizo hali hapa nyumbani, asa nito na isu kumia, wanzangu wako shule, mlienda juzi karegia nyumbani. While Rahma Rashid's mother is yet to visit the day school to which her daughter was called, widowed and unemployed, she finds the thought of the amount she will have to raise daunting. Hata jana likuwa na msichana mwingine ya metuwa kinondo, hamepata fomo ya kinondo. Ndo nkamuliza, haka niambia dimishen namba pengine weza lipa kama miatano ama ilifu moja. Sijajua, sanduku itatoka wapi, ndoo itatoka wapi, besheni itatoka wapi, viatu itatoka wapi, na uniform itatoka wapi. 
Stories like these are common here. Statistics from the Kwale County government show that 71% of Kwale residents are living in abject poverty, struggling to simply put food on the table. For these families, paying for a child's education is a luxury, and free education, they say, isn't exactly free. Hata ikiwa ni day school, zimeandikuwa fees ambayo itoke karu wa muanzo shilinga ilfu saba. All around Kwale are dozens of day secondary schools. Some started with funds from the Constituency Development Fund, but these are not the schools students here want to attend for various reasons. The first is that they don't have enough resources. Muhaka Secondary School, for example, has a shell for a laboratory and there aren't enough teachers. Uh, the government teachers were only two. And uh, these are the ones we employ on board of management terms. And who manages their salaries is actually the parents. I have seven. The wage bill is about 103,000 shillings per month. You have a population of 70 students. You divide that by the wage bill. Each parent is supposed to pay about 15,000 for the board of management teachers besides anything else. So I believe that if that is eliminated, then the, 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 the burden is going to be much less and the parents will bring the students to school. Apart from the prestige of going away to a school in another area, boarding schools have another special attraction, the assurance of three meals a day, together with time away from the troubles at home. Ukimpeleka yo day, nimepeleka yo day, nimejaliwa nimeondoka. Amenda yo day, amenda kushinda shule, amekula marage na maindi, amerudi nyumbani. Akifika nyumbani chakula kuna. Sata toka mtoto wa kike, atenda kuzunguka, atafute kama ndonge la sima. Wamjua tenda kushikana nane nukonjiani. Natika nende boarding school, hili nipate mda wa kusoma. Na kwa sababu nikikuwa hapa nyumbani nenda kwa fano, nitambua nafanya kazi fulani, asa nduwa stack nataka mda ni nisome kwa bidi. Boarding schools, however, pose a different set of problems. In 2018, the government released over 29 billion shillings for free secondary education a sum which translates to 22,000 shillings for each student's tuition, this leaving parents to cover the boarding costs and a few extras. The government set the ceiling for secondary boarding school fees at 53,334 shillings. Apart from what the government is paying, uh, for a school, for a student to be admitted, uh, at least they have to clear the first term fees. Uh, that is uh, 27,900 and again we also have uh, some amount which is paid for the boarding items uh, that's around 10,000 shillings. It is a steep amount accessible only to those of stable financial means or those who receive a helping hand. What? On a hot afternoon, inside a packed Form 1 classroom, learning is taking place. At the admissions desk outside, the last few students and their parents race through the admission process, anxious about missing the deadline and losing the precious places. Kwale High School is a national school, one of the best schools in Kwale County. The advantages to learning here are so great that Elias repeated Standard 8, scoring 366 marks the second time to gain admission. But his family can't raise the school fees. Nikona hofu kuwa inafasi bado ntekosa, sababu school fees bado sijalifa. Out of the 240 expected students, 210 had already reported. A similar situation unfolding at Matuga Girls High School, another national school, where 205 students were already in school. I have a file full of letters of uh, parents who have pledged to own up the, the, their pledges on the amount that they were supposed to pay and uh, basically now uh, we are running the school with letters uh, of pledges hoping to be sorted out as soon as possible so that we can move on. The Kuala County government sponsors 3,310 students. Hundreds more have received scholarships from local banks and other companies, but the need is too great and the funds are a drop in the ocean. When all else fails, these children are forced to grow up fast, to start earning an often humble living, doing odd jobs, trapped in the same cycle as their parents before them. The issue of attitude is also very, very critical. Utapadu kwetu kuna vitu vimepewa kipao mbele 
hata kuliko elimu ukijaona harusi ya huku kwangu kinondo utashangaa vile familia zinakuja pamoja wanachangizana pesa nyingi shangazi atakadiria kwamba hiyo tarabu nitaleta mimi yule anakadiria kwamba hizo masani zote nitanunua mimi lakini familia hiyo hiyo utapata kuna mtoto alifukuzwa shule ama ako na balance ya kule shule ya just 8000 utapata watu hawashughuliki These among the issues that have plagued the coastal region through the years. The key stakeholders now say is to invest fully in education. The infrastructure is is very very critical. Uh, but also the area of staffing. Uh, any parent would want to take their children to a school that offers quality education. So that when you now say go to this particular school everybody is sure you know they are confident that this is really where my child should be that kind of investment which is uh, slightly longer term is critical as parents consider the options the children remain at home their hopes for a bright future fading ninaona labda tu huyu mungu labda hanipendi ama serikali hainipendi Another day ends and the tide comes in things are changing but for the children of the country's coastal region the change can't come quickly enough Wilkinson Yabo Citizen TV in Kwale County